What's going on, people? Theo here, another real talk. So, Philip Schofield, I have watched this interview this morning in full. It was on the BBC, and I figured I'd just come on here, just let you know what my thoughts on it. If, if the guy's career wasn't already over, it is already over. Um, first and foremost, I really and truly struggled to believe him um, in the way that he's coming across. I really, truly, uh, uh, I found it very hard. <sighs> I think, obviously, because I spoke to someone about this this morning, actually, and, um, you know, there there is a notion where he is going to try and... St- tried to do this to try and to defend himself to try and get ahead of the situation to try and bring people down and to be honest with you this is almost on par of the prince andrew interview only only this one is it's so much more drastic because philip has spoken about suicidal thoughts now, let me be very, very clear. I don't want him to go down that path of thinking that way and even having actions um, surrounding uh, surrounding the notion of suicidal thoughts because when you're at that place, it's hard, it's hard to come back. It's hard. I, 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 can't, I can't condone his actions. It's highly inappropriate. It's highly inappropriate, highly. And and he spoke about Caroline Flack as well. Like the the comparison is like we're all digging into him. Yeah, I've said my piece about things, and I and I've and I've said like, look, I am not happy with the way that it's come across. I'm not happy with the way it all looks. Um, but I'm not in any way, shape, or form trying to say to you like you know. Um, that he needs to do this to do that. I'm not trying to do that. His career is over. We already know that. His career is come to an end. And and I think what he should do now is not say anything else. And try enjoy the rest of his life with his family. Just try and do that. Just go and do that. You know, go somewhere. Go and, like, move away somewhere peacefully. Where somebody doesn't know you, somebody doesn't have to recognize you on the street. Like, there is no way back for him on TV. I can't see him back on our TV screens. I really can't. I really can't. And it's, and and at the end of the day, I'm not defending him any way, shape, or form. I want to be very, very clear about that. I am not defending him. I am not coming on here to say to you that. To say to you what he done was right and, and and everything else, it is wrong. It is wrong. Now there's innocent people in all of this, right? Let's let's not forget we got the boy that's center to all of this, right? I don't know whether or not he's going to come out and speak. He Phillips himself he said, yeah, he can come out and speak if he wants to. If he does, then let's hear him out. But if he doesn't, and he wants to live a private life, he's entitled to that. He is. Um, What else he's spoken about? He's spoken about, obviously, um, Harley Willoughby and and what's happened. Harley is due to come back on this morning. uh, Sorry, due to come back on this morning on Monday. And I've I've spoken about this with a with a friend of mine this morning, and we both agreed that there's no way that she could come back on this morning. No way that she can't come back and just pretend everything is all fine and dandy, everything's rosy. You can't. She has to come out and explain the situation. She has to. She has to because if she doesn't, if she doesn't. It's going to make things 10 times worse. Now, I know people are fed up with this story, understandably. 
and you're going to comment on telling me that Phil you need to get a life and whatever but this is serious because what I'm trying to explain here is that this has serious implications we know that the the boss of ITV are going to um, go to um, um, before MPs to discuss exactly what's happened right this is to do with the show itself this morning this is to do with ITV as a broadcaster this is to do with them as well everything everything has blown up in the way that it has done this thing is so huge and yes Philip lied and yes he's apologised and he's all not to it but come on I don't believe him I don't think that doing the interview was the, was the wrong thing but he wanted to try and you know explain his aver version of events but I just feel like things are just getting so much more worse by the minute. And there's so much more to come out. So much more to come out, to be honest, because there's people involved um, at this are still, they still got questions to ask, uh, answer. I watched the Eamon Holmes interview the other day. He explained his situation, he's explained his um, side of the story. Dr. Ranj has like, come up with a statement and spoke about the workplace culture surrounding this morning. There's been other people that's contributed this morning and spoke about their experiences. So something has to be done, something that needs to be all cleared up now. And, and I think that's really the way forward. We need to be able to clear everything forward. If I still believe that, I still wholly believe that this morning, as the show that is now, I'm not so sure it can continue. Yes, I feel sorry for Alison Hammond. I feel sorry for Dermot O'Leary. Sorry, I'm in the shopping centre and I should have known that all that's going on. But anyways, I feel sorry for Dermot O'Leary and I feel sorry for Alison Hammond because they are trying to do the best that they can hosting this show, knowing that this whole controversy is surrounding them at the moment knowing that this thing is just there it's a big elephant in the room so i don't know exactly what's going to happen here i really don't i'm not a pr expert i'm not in an entertainment game um but i do know of workplace culture and and if i knew that something like this was happening i would i would have said i would have spoken out about it and i probably would have left I probably would have left because if something if doesn't feel like it's not got any better, it hasn't got better. And Phil spoke about that. Philip Schofield, so, uh, Philip Schofield spoke about that, um, saying that he felt like um, everything's all, all everything's a family. Everything's everything's a family nature industry. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. Or I don't know enough because I haven't watched the show enough to know that it is. But the whole thing surrounding this is just so, so murky. I've been saying this all the time. The entertainment industry as a whole, beyond all of this, it is so, so murky. So, so murky. There are fake people, fake celebrities, fake, where it's fake because they're on TV, they're on radio, and they are presenting themselves in a certain image. And then away from all of that, there's somebody completely different. It's mad completely different and even if i was to be on uh, on on tv and and everything else what you see is what you get with me maybe that's what we need that maybe we need to have more people who are real that can understand where we're coming from can, uh, who can who can be engaging with the public in touch with the public to understand what to, to understand you know be able to have our voices heard I think that's what we want now. We can't have all these, all have this um, atmosphere where it's so preppy and it's nice and all that stuff. Because it, in reality, it isn't. We're all going through tough times at the moment. We're all going through struggles, and we're all going through, um, we're all going through times where things are so so tough, you know. And we all want, yes, to be. To be, to, we all want to escape something and to want to enjoy it. We all want to try and enjoy life for what it is, even though it's hard. 
But seriously, the, what we've been watching over the last two to three weeks, it just makes things even more harder. And that that's sad even in itself. It's sad. I feel sorry for I feel sorry for um, Phil's um, wife. He said that he, like they're separated, but they are together. I don't know how much, I don't know if they're going to try and work things out. I'm not so sure. Um, the support they has of his daughters as well. I have to mention this. Like they're watching him suicide. They're watching suicide watch, and I can't even imagine what they're going through at the moment. Even I feel sorry for for them. I can't even imagine all of that stuff or how they're dealing with this situation. And they're probably watching this video. If you are watching this video, just know that I'm not getting at him. I'm not trying to get at him. I said my piece on what I think about the situation. It is bad enough as it is. But seriously, I don't know. So we come to the stage now where I just think that there's going to be a lot more to come. There's still going to be people that's going to come out and speak about the situation. Heads will roll. Somebody's going to have to take the floor. Whether it's the executives, the producers, I don't know. Some so Something has got to change. And can it? I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. So, that's my 10 minute whole um, thinking process about what I feel about... Um, the interview that I saw earlier this morning, the Philip Schofield interview, it's on iPlayer right now. If you haven't seen it yet, go and see it um, if you if you want to. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you, how you feel about the situation. You probably be fed up as it is, and you want to move on. But let me know what you think anyway. Um, I'm going to be back with another video soon. So in the meantime. Enjoy the weekend. I'll probably be back with another video talking about the situation as it develops. You bet I will anyway. But um, yeah, I'm out, people. Thanks for watching. Peace.